Yes, hello guys, hello everyone and welcome on your PDA platform. I hope your interview preparation is going fine. Guys, in the today's session, we are going to discuss very important question, the difference between CNG and LPG. This is very important question guys for any of the oil and gas company, whether it is ONGC, IOCL or HPCL. Okay, most of the students actually they are having some basic understanding about CNG and LPG. But lots of question can be framed from this particular topic only. Uh, you, you can get some kind of question why we use CNG in the vehicles, why don't we use LPG in the vehicles and in domestic why we use LPG. Why LPG most suited for the LP, uh, you know domestic purposes and why CNG is most suited for the uh, automobile purposes. Which one is more cheaper, which one is more economical to use, these are the two different things. There is a one thing is the cost, second one is the cost effective, there is a difference between cost and cost effective, these things we are trying to understand. Okay, And the other, other, other type of question which you can get from where, what are the sources, what are the source for CNG and what are the source for LPG, means from where we are going to get CNG, from where we are going to get LPG. So all those things we are going to discuss in the today's session, so let's start our discussion, the difference between CNG and LPG. So the first and the basic difference, CNG means compressed natural gas, LPG means liquefied petroleum gas, as the name itself is defining liquefied petroleum gas, means this gas actually we extract while carrying out the fractional distillation of the crude oil. So it is a kind of byproduct. So when we carry out the you know cracking of oil or the fractional distillation when we carry out for the crude oil this LPG we get as a byproduct. Okay, But CNG directly actually we are going to get from the oil well. We are having some kind of coal wells, we are having oil wells, natural gas wells we are having. So from those wells directly we get the natural gas. What is CNG guys? CNG is a compressed natural gas. Generally we compress the natural gas and you know like the volume to which it is compressed, suppose the initial volume is 100, so it is compressed such that in manner, in, in that manner so that the final volume will be only 1% of the initial volume. So you can imagine the pressure at which we compress that particular you know compressed natural gas. Natural gas. Why actually we compress? So that its energy density will decrease. If you will use a natural gas, so the size of the you know container required will be very high huge and the cost of transportation will also be very high and the power the also output will also be very less because the energy density will be low so the power output will also be low so to increase the energy density of a gas we generally compress it to a higher pressure okay the transportation cost is also going to increase because it is going to occupy the lesser space so it is a kind of natural gas only compressed natural gas we are compressing it to a higher pressure so the main components for the cng are methane major component is methane only uh, close to 93 percent but other than methane we are having nitrogen carbon dioxide and ethane also in this cng but in case of lpg the main components are propane and butane Okay, you know guys when we carry out the processing of CNG, so CNG directly we are getting from the oil wells, uh, natural gas wells, we are having gas wells and from those, those gas wells directly we extract uh, the gas and using some kind of charging station we compress that gas to a high pressure and then we transport it to the another region. So uh, we, we need to you know locate some kind of charging station at a distance of 150 kilometer so that we will be able to maintain that high pressure and then it is directly reached to the you know uh, suppliers, petrol pumps okay or domestic, uh, you know some other purposes also if you want CNG then you can have direct link also through pipelines. Generally we transmit LPG and CNG through pipelines only. So its main components are propane and butane. It is, it is actually comparatively less cheaper. CNG is less cheaper than LPG. LPG cost is more but you know this is having less carbon dioxide emission so it is less cheaper also less co2 emission also so cng is a kind of green fuel before the cng we generally you know uh, we use like earlier we used lpg in our uh, you know automobile also but cng is the best fuel for the automobiles because it is safe to use it is highly volatile it is easily mix, mix with the air so highly volatility is there and you know it is safe to use because it is lighter than air due to its density lighter than air it simply disperses very easily quickly so it is very safe to use in the automobile but you know CNG uh, sorry LPG is heavier than air so it is not that much safe and yes when you are using LPG the CO2 emission will be there so it, it is also a kind of uh, you know as compared to petroleum products like petrol diesel this is good to use LPG also because the carbon dioxide emission is less as compared to those fossil fuels but 
as compared to CNG, the CO2 emission is high. So you can check it here. The CO2 emission is higher as compared to CNG. But here, the CO2 emission is less. So it is a kind of green gas. And this you can say as a less green. Okay. So but the calorific value is uh, very less. For the CNG, calorific value is less because it is a compressed natural gas. But what is this guys? This is a liquefied, uh, liquefied petroleum gas. So for when you are converting the gas in a liquid, so its energy density will be huge. Okay, its energy density means the how much energy content you are having per meter cube of that fuel megajoule per meter cube that is very high 90 to 95 megajoule per meter cube. Its energy density is low. Okay, as compared to uh, petroleum products like petrol diesel energy densities of both CNG and LPG is lesser as compared to petrol and diesel. But their calorific value is higher because if you will compare the energy content on mass basis how much energy you are going to get by the complete combustion of a unit mass of a substance that is known as calorific value. So if you will measure the energy content in kilojoule, megajoule per kg. So that is more for both CNG and LPG. But you know these are kind of gases. This is compressed natural gas. This is liquefied petroleum gas. So calorific value is higher but the energy density is lower as compared to petrol and diesel. But LPG is having more uh, calorific value, more energy density as compared to CNG. So if you are using LPG in automobile, you will get better power. Better power you are going to get. But here the power will be comparatively less because the calorific value is low. But it is cheap, cheap to use. So you will get better mileage with the CNG. Bet less pollution with CNG. But here you will get more power. And comparatively emission will also be less with the LPG. Okay. Chaliye, let us move to next more points. It is safe to use at is dispersed very quickly in the air. So air may both easily kya kar jati hai, disperse kar jati hai. There are very less chances of accumulating the gas. Like suppose if we are using it somewhere, so if there is some kind of leakage, it will simply disperse into the air because its density, density is lesser than air. But see, uh, LPG is more denser than air, so it generally accumulate at the lower floors. So that cause further lots of problem in handling the LPG. Okay. Its main source are oil well, coal well, natural resource well. But LPG actually we produce by during the processing of the natural gas. So when you are processing the natural gas, then also you will get uh, some bioproducts like propane, butane, pentane. Okay, these are the bioproducts generally we get when we process a natural gas. During processing of natural gas, you are going to get LPG. But natural gas directly we get from the oil well. That is the main oil well or what you can say those natural gas well. You know, the oil well which you are having, on those oil wells we are having natural gas wells also or there may be separate gas wells also. So directly we are getting the natural gas but LPG is produced during the processing of the crude oil and it is produced during the processing of the natural gas. Are you getting the idea? Because when you are processing the natural gas, it, there are some chances it is having some kind of water molecule in it. So some kind of cleaning, purity cleaning is required before going to finally, before you can say before the final use of that product. So during the processing of that CNG, we produce, we get some kind of bioproduct as LPG. Okay, chaliye. So it is having high octane number. So it is best use, best alternative for the modern gasoline engines. So this is a very important point guys for the CNG, but it is not much suited because it is high emission and safety in handling. So LP LPG is not that much suited for the automobile use, but due to its higher density, it is best suited for the, uh, you know, our cooking stoves. In cooking stoves, if you are having a gas which is very highly volatile, so the economy wise also and the you know like the en en entire energy content also for the CNG is very less. So LPG is best suited for the domestic use. It is denser although the chances of you know handling accident are more because it is denser but due to its high density energy content and due to its lesser volatility, volatility as compared to CNG it is best suited for our domestic purposes you know you can say cooking purposes but CNG due to its high octane number due to cleaner fuel less emission it is best suited for automobile okay and uh, yes I think these are the main point which you need to understand between CNG and LPG I think now it is very clear to you what is CNG what is LPG what is the calorific value and what is the comparative dif difference between CNG and LPG so guys if you are preparing for any of the you know these oil and gas company you need to be very clear about these type of question. Again, we will meet and we will discuss some more important interview questions related to these type of companies. Thank you very much. Keep preparing and have a nice day.